Hey guys, this is Aperture and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the TradingView templates to increase your productivity and execute your trades faster. A lot of you use different indicators on TradingView and it can be a hassle to always put on these indicators in your chart and switching between them. So you can set up a template so you can switch between sets of indicators faster and have a template for each of your strategies or each of your charts. So I'm going to show you how you can add a few indicators to a template and how to switch between these templates. So let's start with some indicators. I'm going to put on a MACD I'm going to put on some volume, maybe a moving average. And I'm also going to add the Ichimoku, which could be an indicator that you don't often use in your strategy, but you can put it in a template and put it off and on. So I'm going to hide this one but if you always have to do the step of searching an indicator typing the name and then putting it on the chart and you do that a lot you, you probably lose a lot of time so if you have it in your indicator sets that's being put in a template you could easily hide and show the indicator um, with a simple click so also think of indicators you often use but not enough in your general set. And you could add them to, to a template. So we have a few indicators on here. And you can click on templates and then you can save the indicator template. Give it a good name. I'm going to call it example. And then we have a few options. We can click remember symbol. So if you select that option, it will switch directly to the Binance Bitcoin USDT chart in this example. So if you have a strategy or template you like only on a specific coin or, or asset, you can click remember symbol and it will automatically switch to that symbol. Same works for interval. If you select that option, it will set it to the current interval you are viewing. So in this case, the four hour interval. And that can be easy if you have, for example, strategies on four hour or one day chart, it automatically switches to that interval. In this case, I'm not selecting these, but I'm going to click save. As you can see in my template list, I have a lot of templates. But you can see the new one here, which shows example. And I think the best thing to do is if you use a template often, you can add it to the favorites. So let's add that to the favorites. And then it shows here with a single letter. And if you hover over, you can see it's the example template. And you can switch directly to the template by clicking on the E over there. And there we have it, our template. The Ichimoku is still hidden, which we can show if we want that and hide again. And this makes it really easy to go through charts because I can now see if there is a setup maybe with this chart. So for example, we want the MACD crossing and price moving above this moving average. And you can, you can scan for setups in a chart that way. And if this strategy doesn't work, you could maybe switch to another template, for example, the um, a moving average strategy, which I personally use, and then see if there is a setup available on that one. And that way you can quickly switch between strategies on a chart, but also if you have some kind of a watch list, you can just put on a template and click through that watch list and see if there is any setup. So. I click on the example template and then I go through all of the charts and see if there is a setup for me that's tradable. 
and that saves you a lot of time because you use less clicks, you use less thinking about what indicators should be on your chart, and it helps you in optimizing your productivity. This was a video on how to set up some templates on TradingView. Hope you liked it. And if you have any questions, come visit us at burpnest.com. Visit us in the Discord too and ask your questions there because there is a full team of technical analysts waiting for you to help you out. Have a good day and see you in the Burp Nest.